Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to share Allure report. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of the previous sessions where we have generated the Allure reports and attached the screenshots in the Allure report. And then we have added the CVRT levels to the Allure report and so on. And this session is a continuation where I'm going to show you how to share the Allure report. Why we have to share the Allure report, why it is not possible. Because whatever the report that we have generated in the previous session is a temporary report. Okay, it's not permanent. Once you run it again, the old one will be gone. Okay, so I'll tell you more about this. So for that, uh, let's go to this PyCharm ID. Allure reports are generally stored at the temporary location. Whatever the reports that are getting generated right, as I have shown in the previous session, that they are generated at the temporary location. Let me prove that. For example, let me run this particular uh, test. Okay. So here already some reports are generated. You can see the JSON files of the previous run are there. But once I run it again, this will be gone and new files will be placed in place of the old files. Okay. So anyhow, let me go to the terminal and here write down PyTest space under the test package. This is the name of the file test such.py space here I have to give hyphen hyphen allure dar is equal to and give the location so same reports folder I want to dar slash reports and press enter the moment I do that it will run the test and uh, the files related to the new report will be created under the reports folder the old files will be gone new files will be replacing the old files this old files will be replaced with the new files under the reports folder so let's wait until all these tests are uh, run, have run. Let's wait. So second test is running now. Okay. It's done. Now third test will run. Third test has run. It's running. Let it finish. So it's uh, almost done. Yeah, three tests got executed. Three out of three tests got executed, okay? Now you can see here under the reports folder, the JSON files and all those stuff got created. Now to generate uh, a HTML allure report out of these files, I have to right click on this project, say open in Explorer and go to the project location, go inside this project folder and uh, select the project path and say TMD and command prompt will launch like this at the project location. Now here we have to type allure space sir space give the location where the JSON reports are available dot slash uh, reports where the JSON files related to the reports are available. The moment I press enter here, it will generate a temporary HTML allure report for you. Okay, generating a report to temporary direct. This is not permanent, you see temporary location. So this, once you close this right, uh, you cannot uh, see this report again. That is a problem. Because this report has been generated at a temporary directory, which is going to get deleted, okay? So what is the temporary directory where this report uh, files are available? This is a location. C users, my username folder, app data, local temp, and some something something. Copy this, control C, and uh, just select here and paste, press enter. You got the files. This You see, this is not a single report. Rather, if you want to open this report, for example, if I have to open the report like this, you see it's not coming at all, right? So you cannot load it using a single file, but there are a lot of, a lot of folders and files exist. Uh, together, that report was coming, but since I, since if, uh, if I close this report, you will not be able to generate again, okay? Even though you double click on index also, you see the details are not coming because it's one time launch. After that, it's gone. But uh, how to share this report? You see, if I close from here, the report is not coming, right? If I close from here, I cannot, there's no possibility of getting this report back. If I close this, whatever I do here, I go to this allure report folder, where the temporary folder, where this uh, report files are available. There are multiple files here. I cannot, uh, you know, when I double click or do whatever it is, the report details will not come. This is a problem. Then how can I share this report? I have to share the report. How that is possible? There's a way that is 
we can use all these files and folders related to this report. Okay. And there is a way that is, you have to sign up with this website that is net leafy. Okay. You can sign up with this website. For example, I'll show you that website. I'll just open that in incognito mode. N E D L I F I. Just go to this search, Google search for this net leafy. You'll get this net leafy website. Click on that. In the net leafy, you can deploy the things and all softwares and all those stuff. Okay. So you can deploy the code, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Here you have to sign up. I already have signed up. And uh, you can see here already have signed up and my profile is created here in this netleafy.com. I have to go to the deploy section. Okay, no matter what, where I, where I am, I have to go to the deploy section and scroll down here. You will see some section need, uh, need to update your site, drag and drop your site output folders like that. You will see some message. So here you can drag and drop this list of folders related to this LU report. Just go back and this is a folder in which all the files related to the generated LU report are there. Drag this folder and drop onto that location where it is asked. You see, need to just drop it here. That's it. Uploading. Once the files of that particular report got dropped here, still uploading. Let's wait. I think it's done. You got a link here on the top. You can see there is a link coming, right? After dropping here, you got a link. Just uh, go to that link and you will be taken to this page where you can see this uh, instance and, you know, report instance and this dot app something is coming. Just click on that. The report will be open. Now this link having the report and the details, you see, this is not going to, this is not temporary. Now this is permanent. You can share this link with your team members or et cetera, et cetera, whoever you want to share. Okay. So this link is going to be permanent. Whereas whatever the link, uh, link that opened temporarily at this temporary location is not permanent. Okay. So like this, you have to drag your, uh, you know, report files along with the files and folders into this uh, deploy section of this particular website. And you'll get this kind of link. That link you can share with your team. Tomorrow, if you run the scripts again, again, one more report will be created. Again, go to the same location, same temporary location where this uh, LU report folder with the report files are created. Now drag this again onto the website. You'll get that. That is the process. So hope guys, you understood uh, how to share your LU reports and make that make these reports permanent. By default, LU reports are temporary. They are created at a temporary location and they'll they'll be moved off and they'll be replaced with the newly generated reports and files and all those stuff. So if you have to share a report, then it's better that you copy paste that uh, files and folders of that reports into that, this website, and then create a link, permanent link, and then share that link with your members. Okay, that's the process. By, by default, it's not there. So this is a way to do it, okay? There's an alternative way you can share your reports, okay? If you uh, have to share the value reports with your team. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.